hello everyone and welcome to school. I'm going to be your teacher today. My name is Mrs. Rogers. Now at school in the 1850s, there were a lot of rules. So I hope you have your listening ears on so you can hear the rules and make sure you follow them. Because the teacher in 1850 was very, very strict. Strict means that it's my job to make sure all of you follow the rules. Now, stand straight in your lines. Girls always come first. So girls, please follow me. The first thing we would do is greet each other. Now as your teacher, I would say, good morning class. Now girls, you would need to curtsy. So you hold your dress out to the side, you put one foot behind the other, and you bend at the knee. While you're curtsying, you would say, good morning, Mrs. Rogers. Beautiful. Now, boys. Boys don't curtsy. Boys bow. So, one arm in front, one arm behind, and you bend at the waist. And you would also say, good morning, Mrs. Rogers. Let's practice. Lovely. Now you know what to do, you can put it all together. So remember, girls curtsy, boys bow, my name is Mrs. Rogers. Good morning class. So our first lesson for today is writing. And you can see some writing here on the board. And it might look a bit different to what you're used to. This writing is called cursive writing. And you can see all the letters joined together so when the children were writing, their hand would not leave the page. It would keep going until it had finished the word. So to get ready for writing, the children would warm up their wrists. They hold their right hand up and make circles with their wrist. That way, they're all limbered up and ready to make these beautiful, flowing, cursive letters. Our next lesson for the day is arithmetic. Now arithmetic might be a new word for you, but it means maths. And we have this special gadget to help the children learn to do their maths. So you can see on each row, there are 10 balls and 10 rows. And we can use it to do some adding. So if we wanted to add two plus three, we can see the answer is one, two, three, four, five. And if we wanted to do subtraction, we could do this. Five, take away one, and our answer is four. Now, when you started school, when you were five years old, you would sit in the front rows of the classroom. But when you got older, you wouldn't go to a new classroom. This was your whole school. As you got older, you would just move back the rows until you were 12 years old. You'd be sitting at the back as a senior student. And boys, at 12 years old, you'd almost be ready to go off and get a job. And girls, when you're 12 years old, you'd almost be ready to go off and get married. Now, we've done our lessons for today. We've done some reading. We have done some arithmetic. And you would have done some writing as well. But before we can finish for the day, you would need to say goodbye to your teacher. So I would say at the end of the day, good afternoon class. Now girls, remember your curtsies, and boys, remember your bows. Good afternoon, class. Class is dismissed. <laughs>